Imagine if MSI builds a car. How would this look like? I was thinking about that and I guess it wouldn't look like an ordinary car. It would be some very smart solution for creators. Hello friends, I'm Berg Kaplan, I'm a professional car designer and today I want to talk about how I designed a car for MSI and I used MSI Creator Series laptop to do this. So we're gonna see my design process and the project as well as my favorite features for this beautiful MSI Creator Series laptop. I really love the design of this Creator Series. Look, the logo is visible and not visible depending on where the light comes from and it's really nice designer touch. MSI sent me this laptop around one and a half months ago to make me use it, test it and review it so that I can share my opinions with you. All right, now it's time to open this beautiful white box. By the way, it's a great touch, look at this. Very well designed already, this white box is on point. So, let's open it. I'm excited. All right, some more things to open, of course, for the safety of the laptop. Oh, I can feel that. And here is the most exciting part. Soft, like, cotton feeling. And when we open it, whoa. It's very clean design. You can see it's super minimal, super nice, well done. It's definitely different than the gamer laptops. My current laptop is GL75 Leopard, which is more like a gaming laptop. Still nice design, of course, but not like this minimal designer touch. You know, it's more like action gaming style of design. But this one is really nice. And on the side, we have some inputs, of course, on both sides. First thing I want to do is this flat screen mod. I want to try. Well, yeah, yes, it went. It goes all the way down, as you see goes totally flat, which might be very useful. I, another thing I heard about this laptop, which is very cool is, now I wanna try, like with one finger without moving the laptop or without using your second hand, you can open it easily. Let's see. Yeah. You can really do it. Until all the way back to the flat mode, Let's close and open it. I really like how compact and nicely designed, minimal design it has. MSI Creator 15. And even the back side, like you see that very minimal, nice air outlets. It's really for creators, really for designers, I can say. Right now it's time to turn it on and install my favorite softwares to start designing and start using the laptop. And after that, I can share with you my favorite features of this laptop. Even the first moment I got the delivery, I was excited and I was able to see the difference between gaming series and the creator series. Like, look at this box. It came in this nice, beautiful white box, very minimal design, as well as the laptop itself. And when I saw the box, I was like, I knew that it's something different than what I had and it's something designed for creatives. As designers, we were mostly pushed to get some gaming laptops before. Because for having a strong GPU and CPU to make our work going smoothly, we need some powerful laptops. But honestly, gaming laptops are a little bit aggressive on design, I can say. And with this creative series, we have all these good features and even more focused features for creators. So let me tell you a little bit about my favorite features first. The first one would be this 180 degrees screen angle. 
You can just open it flat and this allows you to easily share your ideas with your colleagues or with your clients while presenting anything or even showing your work to your friend who is sitting just in front of you. Without this solution you need to hover the laptop, you need to move it physically and on the way there are always obstacles like the cables or some kind of like a coffee mug so it's always dangerous to move the laptop physically. Rather than this now we can just flip the screen and with one button, one magic button, it rotates the display on the other side so you can communicate in the best way. Another very good feature is the touch screen. I don't use it while working honestly because on different softwares I use a lot of shortcuts and I'm not used to use the touch screen for my working process. However, when I'm presenting something to my clients or my colleagues, me and the other side can use this touch screen to change the images and have a better control. So it creates really nice interaction with each other. There's another feature that I have to mention because it makes me feel really special every morning. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit weird, but as creatives, we really want to access our tools as soon as possible, right? As fast as possible. So when I just hit the power button, it quickly turns on the system and comes to the login page. Normally you need to type your password or your PIN, but I don't need it anymore. Thanks to the face recognition system, most of the time I'm already logged in. If I'm not directly looking at the monitor, if it cannot detect my face, I just need to rotate my head and look at the display for like a second and then I'm in. I guess normally it's a security function, but for me more importantly it just makes it easier. I just don't need to write my password or something and I really love that feature. As I said, I'm a car designer, which means that I use a variety of softwares, sometimes 2D sketching by using a graphic tablet and sometimes 3D modeling and rendering all this stuff. But at the same time I'm a YouTuber, which means I record a lot of videos and I have to edit them. And for all these tasks, for all this combination, I need more than one display most of the time. I use one additional display tablet for my sketching and I use additional monitor for my video editing and 3D modeling kind of things. So for me it's really important to get two additional displays being able to connect to one device here. And thanks to MSI Creator Series, I have two display inputs. One is HDMI input and the other one is USB-C Thunderbolt input. So this way I can connect all my devices at once and I don't need to switch between displays. Everything is always connected and I really like this feature. Alright, I think it's enough talking about my favorite features of this BRT and let's talk a little bit about what I did with it. Creative process starts on the paper for me. I use simple pen and paper first. And then I jump into digital sketching here I add more materials and more refinement to my design and develop it further. I also work in 3D to put my designs into realistic volumes and create realistic images out of it. Maybe let me just show you what I did directly inside of the 3D software. Here we have kind of a crowded scene and this is the MSI Creator pod I would say. Right now we are in a 3D software with a lot of things going on as you see and we are on the rendering mode. And if I come here I can show you that we are using our GPU for the rendering. Here as you see on the graphics card we have NVIDIA RTX 3060 laptop GPU and for the processor we have Intel i7 1087OH CPU. You don't have to understand all these numbers and stuff. I can just tell you that it works very well for creators, especially for me. If you want to do some 3D modeling or video editing or some 2D softwares like a graphic design work, these components will help you a lot to do that smoothly. For example here we have real-time shading. It's maybe a little bit dark, let me change some materials here. Alright, now we can see better the transparency and the other materials to talk about design in a better way. First of all, I wanted to use very clean design, very minimal design, but still sensual, still very sculptured way. Because in car design especially, we really love these crispy lines going into some bigger forms, then appear again. If I show you with a different shader, you can see that I have like a very tiny fillet here going on and it gets bigger here, it almost disappears and comes back to the back. And of course it's an MSI pod, MSI transportation, so I wanted to use MSI's design language, especially of the creator series. So we have a very minimal clean surfacing and very elegant and powerful materials. So idea of this pod is it's a one person pod Let's say you need to commute to somewhere, so you can get this autonomous vehicle for one person and on your way you can continue creating your stuff. Let me open the doors for you. We can open the door this way and we can see the inside. Let me make the scene a little bit lighter to see better what's going on. So here inside we have one main interface. With this interface you can connect directly on your account. There will be a creator specialized cloud system that you can see all your files immediately wherever you are, whichever pod you are in, let's say. 
Of course, for the safety, we can use from fingerprint to face recognition or directly some password systems. So after you order the pod and when you got in, you already have your files ready for you to use. So let's say you are a musician, you write a song or play the song, create it. Or you're a designer or you're a graphic designer and you can work on your client projects. Or you're a product designer, industrial designer or an artist for different mediums. You can all use it here with a clean interface. Let's close the door here. And as you see from outside, as it's an autonomous vehicle, we don't need the big headlights or the rear lights as we would have on the typical traditional cars of today. Rather than that, I wanted to use this one-line light wrapping around the vehicle, like a very simple design again, very minimal touch. And it can be also used to communicate with other pedestrians and other vehicles around. As you can also see here on this laptop, like here on this logo and the, the panel, the material division is very subtle, very nicely done. So I wanted to use it also in this vehicle here. This body part of the car can be very dark gray and we can have tinted glass like this. So when you see the shot lines, the material division, you can see they're done in a very smooth way, but still there is this material division to add some contrast and elegance to this car. So the whole idea for the exterior is having this really minimal and nice elegant form. And on the inside, on the interior, if I hide the exterior here, you can see it's also very minimal interior, very simple to use, and there will be customizable digital interface, of course. And probably you're asking now, okay, everything sounds good and cool, but how does it even work? First of all, it's a concept design. It's my vision for future. And if MSI created a car, I wouldn't even say a car. If MSI created this personal creator pod, how it would look like. But still, of course, as a designer, I have to think about how it would work, at least in a general way. So if I hide this display and the seat, also let's hide the floor. So now you can see I was thinking about three-wheeler concept here. Two wheels are in the front with the hub motors inside and one on the back for the rotation of the vehicle. Also the batteries and the autonomous driving system will be hidden on the floor. So again I was highly inspired by this laptop here because from outside it looks very elegant, very minimal. When you open it you have this nice interface and very easy to use with full of functions and even inside of the shell the compartment parts is very well taught. Let me explain you what I mean by that. I use a lot of save as on my projects, especially if I'm working on a 3D project, I just save as version 01, version 02, I don't know, 10,000, whatever. So I have a lot of files and they're kind of like a copy of each other's. And these are big files, which takes a lot of space. So I have my client projects, I have my personal projects, I have my YouTube videos, and these all are big stuff. When I received this PT, it had inside 500 gigabyte SSD and 16 gigabyte of RAM. And I needed a little bit more than this. When you are getting a laptop, the most important thing is the GPU and the CPU. I'm not that much of a technology guy, but what I learned by time and what I learned from my friends is GPU and the CPU is the most important. And this laptop has very strong ones inside. And when I told you that laptop is designed also better inside, like inside of the shell, all these components, I meant it's very simple to use. I wanted to upgrade my SSD and the RAM. And again, I'm not a technology guy, but I was able to do that very easily. I just watched one tutorial how to open the back of this. It's very simple because it doesn't have a lot of complex stuff going on. I just unscrewed a little bit and then I easily changed the RAM and the SSD. So now this laptop is very easy to compete with desktop PCs. By the way, it's not an advice just to get your new laptop and then just open it yourself and all, do all this stuff. Especially if you don't know what you are doing, it's better to just contact MSI customer service and they will take care of it if you need any change or upgrade. So for the ones who are interested in these details, now I have 2.5 terabyte of SSD inside, plus I have 32 gigabyte of RAM next to my RTX 3000 series graphics card and i7 1087OH CPU. And if you don't know about all these codes and numbers and stuff, that thing is a beast for a creator. And I'm really happy with it, of course. It was so much fun for me to design this concept transportation vehicle, this creative pod for MSI. I want to announce you that MSI has an industrial design challenge now. And all you need to do is just click in the link below and submit your PC design ideas. The most creative ideas selected by MSI industrial design team will win the Alessandra M MSI corkscrew. It looks very nice, I just want to get one too. Thank you very much for taking your time and watching this video until here. And also thank you MSI for sending me this beautiful creator series laptop. And if you like this video, just hit that like button and subscribe to see more content like this. I hope to see you in the next video.
Oh, no, no, this, this video is done. Now I just have to work. See you.